<laughs> just going to start the fire. We've uh, rinsed this out a bit. We're going to boil some water in there, clean it out. Ooh. It's the 7th of March and uh, some of these aren't dripping very much anymore. Some of them have been dripping more. This one's nice and full. This one actually is full. Now there are still some particles here, but uh, the syrup will be strained through wool to take every bit of sand out. You don't want it to you don't want to let it boil right down or it'll burn. Get a good coal bed on it. As it burns, we'll just um, push these in more, or as they drop off, we'll put them in. It's one o'clock. I'm just going to measure the depth. See how fast it's going to boil down. It just started, though. I just measured it, and it's uh, that deep. I don't know if you can hear, but it's a rapid boil now. Now sometimes you can, we're using a stainless steel barrel, but uh, some people use a wider pan that gives a better evaporation surface. Well, here's an older hole from several years back. It heals itself up. But year to year, you really should uh, move the location of the spit uh, 10 inches at least away from an old hole from last year. We missed the first part of the year and the last few days are, have been uh, a freezing days, both day and night, so it slowed down a bit. We're not sure how much left we can uh, get. You can see it bubbling up there. We'll let it cool down a little bit and uh, there's a scum that develops on the top that will skim off occasionally. 